Hey, real estate agents, are you generating leads off of YouTube right now in your business? Well, you should be. It's free to upload videos to YouTube. You just have to position yourself to capture that traffic that's already searching for homes for sale and how to sell my house in your market. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you several tips that I've learned over the years, but also the top five videos that you need to shoot right now to start generating leads in your backyard. Now, the first thing that you wanna start with is keyword research. I'm gonna use the keyword Dallas, Texas, just because that's where I live. So go to Google, open up a new tab, and type in your target city and houses for sale. And before you click enter, be sure to see what is coming up underneath your keyword search. It's gonna show you the top searches of what people are already searching for in your backyard. And from doing that quick exercise, you can gather two or three other keywords that people are already searching for. Now, the next thing for keyword research is a tool that I use called Keyword Surfer. And what that does, that's an extension that goes into your Chrome browser. And once you do that keyword search, you're actually gonna see a count on the side. It's gonna show you exactly how many times per month people are typing in those keywords. So that'll give you an idea of where the traffic is already for you to base your titles off of so people can find you on the web when they're searching on Google and YouTube. Now, the first video that you need to shoot is cost of living in your city. And why is that important? Because that's what people are searching for already that are moving into the city. And once you publish that video, you can do several more variations of that same video over time. And once again, people are already searching for those terms. Now, the second one is a pros and cons of living in your city. This is a big one and you would be shocked to see how many times people are typing in the pros and cons of living in a certain city online. So as a part of your research is actually typing that into Google and seeing what comes up looking at the videos looking at the blog articles and pulling inspiration from the content that you see and taking a look at those videos and articles that come up from that search and doing some recon and doing some research so you can put together a really well planned video to shoot and upload to youtube and hey guys, before we go any further, I wanna welcome you to the channel. My name is Ian Flanagan. I'm a 17 year real estate pro and I help agents grow their real estate business, build wealth and create financial freedom. So if that's something that resonates with you, consider subscribing. Now the third one here is where to live in your city. Now this can be 25 or 50 different videos because you can highlight all the different suburbs that are in your area. And once again, every title that you can create that has specific keywords, you can spin those in different variations and tell different stories. So in reality, you can take these five topics and turn them into 50 videos. Now the fourth one here is a big one and gets tons of views on social media and YouTube. And that is how much does it cost to buy a house in your city. So do some quick math before you shoot the video and just share the story of what it would cost to buy that particular house. Hey guys, you're looking to relocate to Dallas, Texas? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you what it would cost for you to buy a $500,000 house. If you have 10% down, you would finance 450,000, that's $50,000 down, finance the difference, which is 450,000 at 7% interest on a 30 year loan, that would be about $2,999 per month. Now that does not include taxes and insurance. So that would be a great video for you to go shoot in your market, go to a $500,000 house and do a property tour and tell the story about what it would cost to buy that house. And once again, you can do a ton of different variations based off the price point of real estate that you're selling in your market. Now, the last one here is my favorite, and that is property tours. People love property tours, especially higher end houses. If you're in one of those special markets that has multi-million dollar inventory, be sure to go do some property tours and put those all over your social media, especially on YouTube, because that's where people are searching. They're searching on Google, they're searching on YouTube, and that's how you can get found by doing a little bit of keyword research and blending in these titles and tags and descriptions into your videos and continue to publish videos at a high level so YouTube will pick up you in the algorithms and start putting you in front of thousands and thousands of people. Cause I can't tell you how satisfying it is when someone reaches out and they say, hey, I've been watching your content on YouTube for the past couple months. We're ready to buy a house and we want you to represent us. Can you help us out? And that's the reality of the type of leads that you get from YouTube. And the most beautiful thing is YouTube videos are prospecting for you 24 hours a day while you're sleeping and it doesn't cost you a dime. It just costs you your time, effort, and energy to put the video together and upload it to YouTube. So if you've gotten any value out of this video, be sure to hit that like button. Once again, consider subscribing to the channel. Check out some of the other videos on the channel to help you grow your real estate business. And until next time, see you on the next video.